Heather bought me her list of requirements, so let's check them out. He must be between 30 and 45, financially stable, no kids, 5'10 or taller, no hookups or flings, ready to settle down, no roommates, no smoking, must love dessert and can't be anti-sugar. <laughs> what, what, what's the deal with the desserts? Well, okay, that's a really important one because I'm the founder and CEO of my own frosting company. And so it's an all natural gourmet frosting. And so I make a lot of desserts. Okay. And I do a lot of, you know, trade shows and making desserts. Right. So he has to like dessert. If he doesn't like dessert, it's totally a deal breaker. Right, totally a deal breaker. Totally a deal breaker. Okay, but there are some more requirements, so let's take a look at these. Must be uh, honest, reliable, sweet and kind, quick-witted, romantic, must love food, must pay on the first date, no flowers on the first date, must be a social drinker, and must never wear sweatpants. What? <laughs> and, I mean, those are basics. He, wh why, he can't wear sweatpants. No, the last guy I dated, he, we fought all the time because he wanted to go to Starbucks in sweatpants and go to breakfast in sweatpants, and no one should be doing that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we got some more requirements, but we don't have no more room. Uh, <laughs> Guys, let, let me get one of the pillars over here. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Must be adventurous, must be humble, must be spontaneous, must be a planner, can't be self-centered, can't be cocky, must love dogs, can't own a dog from a breeder, can't be jealous of her dog, and can't own a cat. The hell, what? <laughs> You, you, you can't buy a, you can't have a dog from a breeder? Yeah, I mean, listen, Steve, there's so many dogs out there that are in need of homes that are shelter dogs, and they're really sweet, great dogs. So any guy that's going to spend a ton of money to buy a purebred dog, it just says something about his character. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, he wants a dog? <laughs> but he can adopt. Okay. Okay, he can't be jealous of your dog. So the last guy I dated, he admitted after a few months that he was jealous to, of my dog and he was kind of mean to my dog in the beginning. And he said that I gave my dog more attention than I gave to him. Did you? Well, <laughs> I mean, my dog never fought with me. That's cause your dog ain't got to live up to all them damn requirements. <laughs> Your dog probably go to hell. Woo! <laughs> Man, damn, glad I'm a dog. <laughs> We're not done yet. Uh, we can get another pillar. In fact, <laughs> yeah. Let's bring all of them in here. Bring both of them over. I love it. You ready? Must be in shape. Can't have six pack abs. Can't have six pack abs. Can't be too skinny, can't have a runner's physique, can't be stronger than me, can't be, <laughs> can't be obsessed with sports, can't be a hunter, can't own a boat, can't be a gamer, can't be materialistic. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be out. <laughs> can't be materialistic. What, what does that mean? He can't, he can't want anything? He can't want to buy things all the time. Can you talk to my wife? <laughs> Probably. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, must respect a gluten-free... <laughs> must respect a gluten-free diet. Can't be too close to family and friends. Must open doors for me. Must be willing to move someplace warm. Must love traveling. Can't, can't brag about traveling. Oh, oh, we can go there, but you can't tell nobody. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> you telling everybody we was in Arizona for. <laughs> uh, must maintain eye contact. Can't be a party boy. Can't be intimidated by me. Favorite season can, what? <laughs> Favorite season cannot be fall. There's more, we ran out of pillars. <laughs> <laughs>
He can't love fall. The, so the thing about that is that every guy I've gone out with that says their favorite season is fall is they're just, they're so typical. It's a very, everyone's favorite season is fall. And so then they want to go pumpkin picking and apple picking and, and to haunted houses. And, and it's just like, it's watching the same movie and knowing the ending every single time. Do you like quiet time? I do. You're going to have a lot of... <laughs> Heather. <laughs> yeah. Heather. You're young, you're smart. This is a lot, man. Yes. You gotta go. See, if you're looking for a guy with all of that, yeah. I don't know that he exists. No, no. He's gotta exist. You okay. don't think so? Well, let me ask you something. Been eight years. <laughs> I've dated a lot since then. Right, okay, so let me ask you, you got another eight you want to do just like? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, then do you understand what I'm getting at? I'm just trying to help you, Heather. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I just looked over there and I forgot I must maintain eye contact. <laughs>